Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes are... And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Vincent Mayola bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. And that'll set them back five.
Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That's going to set them back five yards. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. set to rock and roll and we are underway from the city beautiful first down rivers and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, 
Sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, helped force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. On second and ten, Rivers. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, batted free. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. This is Carson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Eluding the pressure right. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be taken down, but first he gets deep into Indianapolis territory. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 43 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. And now a carry here for the fullback. And they'll get him down right around the 16. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. A gain of a yard brings up third and seven. Set, set, 180. Hey, Delta. On third down, Rivers. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I'm not sure if this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. From eight yards out, and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now on second down, this is Gurley. He's got the first down and more past midfield. 30. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Todd Gurley. 62 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away.
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Akeem Spence never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They go play action. Rivers. Looking deep for Demarius. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you can give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 bump. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers Cromarty. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. Now following the interception, here's Newton. This is caught. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. From the gun, here's Newton. Flush to his right. And he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Colts have taken the lead. But this was a... Kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. Time to hop foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon. Just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points. Straight line. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious, because now... It got his man complete! And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Rivers now. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. They run it with Carson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to the end zone real fast. Dancing to his left. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Anthony Barr. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns, it's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, 
They can create a pretty good gap. Allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. Yeah, big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. So that changes things. Here's first and ten all the way up at the 45. Here's Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that. On the toss, it's Gurley. And he's going to be stopped well behind the line of scrimmage, and that's pretty much going to wipe out their gain from first down. That'll go as a loss of five, and it'll be third and ten. Out of the gun, Newton. That's complete. It's Bell. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 41-yard line. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. So in Saints' territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now a draw play. This is Bell. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are out on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Gurley again here on first down. Gurley's got the first down and then some. And he takes this one in for a...
attention, I was waiting to shine. My father taught me don't be soft, so now I'm taking what's mine. I define myself as ambitious, young, black, and gifted. Master P, my masterpiece, that mean I don't got no limits. Bout it, bout it, I doubt it. My homies know you ain't right if we break you down like a pound. I got it, don't pound us around me. I'm corrupted, flow cold, and it's rugged, bump it. What is up? I'm ready for all you got to love it. Like, black, yeah, and it feel like, ooh, yeah, all day like, ooh, yeah.
Absolute 